Hello guys, welcome to my channel. A question is usually asked during interviews that what is the difference between drawings and specifications. So here in this video, we are going to answer this question in detail and we will also discuss the aim and purpose of drawing and specification in detail. In my previous video, I discussed drawings, the types of drawings that we use in construction discussed in great detail. You are requested to please watch that video as well to get better understanding and to understand the difference between drawings and specifications. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, drawings. It is simply the arrangement and joining of lines to express ideas. Drawing is the use of various types of line to show the forms on paper etc. Working drawings are completely dimensioned views accompanied by all necessary notes. Working drawings are supplied to all the trades involved in that particular job. A complete set of drawings for structure usually include three major sections. These three major sections are discussed in my previous video, the link of which is given in the description. I discussed every detail that what information can we get from these drawings is discussed in that video. Please also watch that video. Uh, three major sections are first one is architectural, second one is structural, third one is mechanical and electrical. And within three major sections are subdivisions usually assembled in following order. First one is plot plan, second one is foundation plan, third one is floor plan, fifth one is elevation plan and last one is sectional drawing and detailed drawings. Now coming towards specifications. Specifications are defined as a written or printed description for contract purposes for a structure or equipment. Now specifications could be for both structure or equipment and the materials and workmanship standards required on a particular job by the architect and structural engineer. Okay, What are specifications? Specifications are written or printed descriptions in which the specifications about structure or equipment and the materials and workmanship standards are entered uh, and written on the prescription or on the directions of the architect or the structural engineer. Specification should describe the type and quality of every product required for the project. This include all the phases of creation and installation starting with manufacturing, fabrication, application, installation and finishing and adjustment. The main difference between now if we compare drawings and specification, the main difference between specifications and working drawing is that working drawings show the location, height, length and thickness of masonry walls along with the sizes of the openings and overall illustrations etc. as the building will look like when completed. Whereas specifications state the other information needed to construct the structure such as kinds of brick or masonry units. Kinds of brick as you can say class A, class B or class C or first class brick, second class brick and masonry units. Masonry units could be stone, stones, uh, blocks or bricks and methods of bonding, English bond, Flemish bond and other types of bond type of mortar to use and so forth. Specifications and working drawings go hand in hand and both are necessary to complete or renovate any structure. Specifications are required to clarify the drawings. Format of specifications, these specifications usually given at the start of the drawing set of drawings and in order that no areas or components of building are missed in the construction process the format or style that specifications are written in varies depending on the complexity of the project and its requirement. Format consists of 16 divisions as follows. Now specifications give specific 
details about a specific job okay so, as you can see division 1 is about general requirements division 2 is site work division 3 is concrete division 4 is masonry as i mentioned before that what type of concrete should be used what should be the strength of concrete for a specific structure and masonry which include the type of bond and the masonry units as brick masonry block masonry and the types of these bricks okay these include the specifications about that material and metals what type of metals should be used wood and plastic thermal and moisture protection division 8 shows about doors and windows the sizes of doors the type of material which could be used for making of doors and windows etc division 9 finishes what would be the finishing material marble tiles uh, granite etc division 10 specialties and division 11 is about equipment like how to carry out the work is also included in the specification and the division 12 is about furnishings and 13 is about special constructions division 14 is conveying systems and 15 is about mechanical work or mechanical jobs and the last but not least is division 16 which is about electrical electrical fitting electrical pipe electrical wires and the description about these materials are subdivided into these divisions okay and it varies depending upon the complexity of the project and its requirements so that's all for today in the end you are requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates